Good morning, good morning. Woohoo! Happy celebration of Hispanic Heritage Month. Woohoo! <laughs> As you see, I brought Bobo. He's here back. Shaking his maracas and throwing around scarves. Multicolored scarves. Woohoo! Let's do some wiggles today. You ready? You can do some wiggles this morning. You ready? Are you ready, Bobo? Oh, he's been ready. All right. Let's go ahead and do the wheels on the bus with a little bit of maraca. You ready? The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. The wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish. Yes, side, side. Swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish. All through the town. The doors on the bus go open and shut, open and shut, open and shut. The doors on the bus go open and shut, all through the town. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. All through the town. The money on the bus goes clink, clink, clink. The money on the bus goes clink, clink, clink. All through the town. Very good, Bobo. <laughs> the driver on the bus says, What does he say? Move on back. You're right. Move on back. The driver on the bus says, Move on back all through the town. The people on the bus go up and down, up and down, up and down. The people on the bus go up and down. Wow, that's so high, Bobo. Up and down all through the town. And what about the babies? Oh, it says they cry. The babies on the bus cry, wee, 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 wee. The babies on the bus cry, wee, 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 all through the town. Don't cry, baby. The mummies on the bus say, The mummies on the bus say, all through the town. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. <laughs> good job, good job, good job. Well, welcome again to our Region B story time. I am Miss Nancy Valdiva from the Palm Springs Public Library. And this is my little pal Bobo, and he's a dancing bear. He just loves to move and wiggle with you and with me. All right, let's get our story started. Are you ready for a story? All right. Now, just a reminder, boys and girls, October is also a time for nocturnal animals. And I still have an animal here on my table that needs a name. So if you know of a name to give to my little owl friend here, let me show you. He needs a name. So if you can send a name to us, that'd be great. I would love that. Thank you. Okay, Bubba, let's get ready for a story. Shake your maraca one last time. Woo! All right. I'm going to put Bobo down over here on his chair to be a good listener. He's a, he's a great listener. All right. Well, my first story for today, again, as we're celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month, I thought I'd pick the story by Gary Soto. And this one's called My Little Car, Mi Carrito, by Gary Soto and illustrated by Pam Pamparon. And as you can see here, we have a little girl riding in her little low rider. What color is her car? Do you know? Can you tell me? What color? <gasps> there we go! Great brain power this morning. You're right, it is green. How about super duper brain power, huh? In Espanol, a ver como? 
¿Qué color? Verde. Muy bien y inteligente. What color do we see here, boys and girls? Do you see this color? Yes, it's a nice bright yellow. Amarillo en español. My Little Car, Mi Carrito by Gary Soto and illustrated by Pam Paparón and read to you with permissions by G.P. Putnam's and Sons, <clears throat> which is uh, an imprint of the Penguin Group, the division of Penguin Young Readers Group. All right, we have a dedication here. Hmm, to Josie Wrangle and Juan Garcia, low riding in Clovis, California, from Gary Soto. And for Nick, from Pam Paparon. Teresa was embarrassed by her trike. Trikes were for little kids, like her crybaby sister, Pumpkin. Oh, as you can see. Pumpkin is crying because someone has taken, her, taken away her toy. A ball, a pelota. Then the mailman delivered a big birthday present from Abuelito Benito. <gasps> Can I open it? Teresa asked her mother. Go for it, mija, her mother said. Mija is another word for little girl, or my, my daughter. Teresa tore at the wrapping paper with her fingernails. <gasps> it's a low rider! Teresa cried. Oh, look at the flames! Her mother read the card from her grandfather. Querida Teresita, you're old enough for your first low rider. I can't wait to see you in your carrito. Hot shot. I'll be there next month. Con cariño, with all my love, Grandpa Benny. Oh, isn't that nice? Her own little lowrider. That is great. Wow. Right away, Teresa took in, took it outside, and everyone admired her car. The bikes parted when she pedaled down the street. Wow. Looks like it goes very fast too, doesn't it? Whoa, look at this. Look at that bike there. And she's riding on a, what is she riding on? A white horse. A caballo. And there's another little trike there. And there she goes. Beep, 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 beep. A sharp looking ranfla rolled by on the street. Her neighbor Jose Luis honked at her. Beep, 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 I like your ride, muchacha, his voice cooed. I like your bomb, también, Teresa yelled in return. The next day, she paraded her car at the playground car show. Pop it, the kids dream. Teresa hopped her car. Boom, 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 boom. Oh my goodness. Make it dance, the kids scream. Bailalo, 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 bailalo. And she made it dance. Your car's a winner, the playground coach said. It's good looking, muy firme. Look at all the people who came out to see her car. And there are other cars here too. Oh, let's count how many cars we have here at the show. Are you ready? One, two, three, Four, and one more makes five. Wiggle those fingers, boys and girls. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. We also have, as you can see in our picture, some bikes. Let's count 
how many bikes are here as well. Are you ready? One, two, three. Very good. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Great, great power. How about counting in Espanol? Are you ready? Uno, dos, tres. Good job. In French, can you handle it, boys and girls, this morning? Did you have your breakfast? Let's try it in French. Ready? Un, deux, trois. Oh, très bien, magnifique, en français. And so many happy faces as they looked at all the cars at the car show. And Teresa won! Woohoo! It was so happy. Wow, look at that, boys and girls. Look at that huge trophy. Teresa drove away proud, and when she got home, her father was in the driveway. Together they polished her car until the chrome was so bright and hurt their eyes. And Teresa wouldn't let Pumpkin help. Wow, look at that shine, boys and girls, look at that shine. You can practice take care of your trike, Teresa said, until you're big enough to have a carrito. I'm going to get me a carrito too, Pumpkin mumbled. And she cleaned her trike with an old diaper. Everybody's cleaning away. It's raining, boys and girls. Look at that. But one night, Teresa left her little car out in the rain. Oh, can you see? Can you spy also a little critter in the tree? What is that? Does it look like my night critter I have on the table? Does it look like my night critter on the table? The one who needs a name? <gasps> Do you see it? <gasps> Whoa, what kind of sound do you think it makes? Woo-hoo! Woo-hoo! Here we go. Woo-hoo! A little bit different here and there, but yes. Woo-hoo! Woo-hoo! It's getting all wet. And so is Teresa's car, her little carrito. What happens when we leave our toys outside in the rain, boys and girls? Do they last forever when they're out in the rain in the elements? In the dirt, mud, snow? What happens? Do they stay nice and shiny? Goodness no, goodness no. They begin to get dirty. All right, let's take a look. Let's see what's gonna happen. Another day she left it under a tree and a bird. <laughs> Pooped on it. Oh, no. Then ants attacked the steering wheel when it got sticky from a soda. Yes, go marching one by one, hurrah. Huh? Yes, go marching one by one, hurrah. Hurrah. Yes, go marching one by one. The little one stop the stop to fun. Yes, go marching one by one, hurrah. Hurrah. Oh, my goodness. And even the flame stickers began to peel off. Oh, it's all messed up, Teresa cried. Now it's going to drive crooked. Can I have it, please? Pumpkin begged. way to ask for something? Please, can I have it, please? That was very nice. And as you can see, what is Teresa doing anyways? Is she playing with her toy? Is she playing with her puppet? Oh no, look what she's doing. She's playing with a puppet. It looks like it's a dragon. Playing with everything else but her carrito. What she say to Pumpkin, I wonder? Teresa ignored Pumpkin and rode away down the street. <laughs> As she went by one house, its screen door slapped open. A dog as large as a cow barked at her. 
Let's take it low and slow. Now, mi carrito is better than ever, Grandpa. Just like you. And that is the end of that. And we have one little special message here from our author. It's important to take care of the things you love. Wasn't that a great story? My Little Car, Mi Carrito by Gary Soto and illustrated by Pam Pamparon. Woohoo! I think that deserves a clap. I like that story. Alright. Let's go ahead. Oh, you want to hold my book for me? Thank you. Alright. Alright, boys and girls, I wanted to give you a little bit of a heads up. We have, I'd like to share with you a program called Craft Along. And basically, what it is is you, um, watch a video of me making a craft. Last month it was maracas. This month we are making paper bag scarecrows. There's a little boy with a cowboy hat. And here's the little girl with some clothespin pigtails and a headband. <laughs> and you can pick up these kits here at the Palm Springs Public Library stop on by and pick up your kit. Tell me watch the craft along video and it is on YouTube. And um, this, you can pick them up from starting now until the end of October. All right, and it has all the things to make your little scare crow um, out of a paper bag. Isn't that, isn't that a lot of fun? Look, looks fun too, doesn't it? All the materials you're going to need will be in the paper bag. And if you want to make more, there's some stencils in the bag as well. All right? Okay. It's called Craft Along. You can also go to our website, www.palmspringslibrary.org, and check out the event calendar. And on there, there's a link on the 13th to watch the video of the craft. All right? Okay. We have one other story. This is one of my favorites. Woo! Space Caves! And this story is written by Edward Marshall and our pictures are by James Marshall. So let's get ready for our next story. You ready to play with me? Are you ready to play our game? Are you ready? Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, 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 clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Put them in your lap, 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 lap. No, if your children are in your lap, this is the time to tickle them as we pretend we're being attacked by bugs. Creep them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them, right up to your chin, chin, chin. Oh no, they're busy, they're the bugs. Oh, ah, spiders everywhere. Oh, no, no. Open up your little mouth and i 
to. The thing from outer space was beginning to lose heart. <laughs> you know what this is, boys and girls? Can you tell me? Do you know? What is it? Come on, you can yell it out. Mother, 
While Buddy ate his fried eggs, the thing accommodized a glass of orange juice. <sniffs> Fantastic toys these kids have, said Mr. McGee. Are you sure you want to come to school? asked Buddy. Unquestionably, beat the thing. I want to observe. Very windy day. Everybody's got their scarves on and jackets and mittens. Even the thing. Everyone was too excited by Mr. Jones's reptiles to notice the things. Look at all these reptiles. Wow. Good heavens, beeped the thing. What peculiar looking specimens. What kind of critters do we have here, boys and girls? You know what they are? You know what this is right here? Ooh, that's a long one. You got it. Snake. What about this one over here? And this one right here. Can you see them? And they're all the same color, aren't they? We have a green snake. What's this? A little green turtle. Very good. And a green... Maybe that's a crocodile or an alligator. Not quite sure which one. Oh, nobody's noticing the thing, are they? All right. And now, said Mr. Jones, putting away his reptiles, it's time for your space projects. <gasps> Uh-oh, <gasps> said Buddy. <gasps> I forgot to do mine. Calm down, beat the thing. The look you get when you haven't done what you're supposed to. I bet it looks familiar, doesn't it? <laughs> the first project was a homemade rocket. How primitive, beat the thing. John Watson showed a model of Mars. All wrong, beat the thing. <laughs> what a know-it-all, huh? And what do you have to show us, Buddy? asked Mr. Jones. Before Buddy could reply, the thing proceeded to the front of the class and did some fancy mathematics at the blackboard. 1,000 plus 830 equals 1,830. Er, uh, 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 said Buddy. Um, um. That's my robot. Very clever indeed, said Mr. Jones. That's worth an A minus. Said Buddy. School was fun, beat the thing, but I wouldn't want to do it every day. When do we go trick or treating? Well, that's only once a year, said Buddy. Oh, beat the thing. I just remembered an appointment on Jupiter. Wait, cried Buddy, and he explained all about Christmas. Why, that's only two zygots away, beat the thing. I think I'll come back for that. And it started to pick up speed. <laughs> It was gone. <gasps> wow, said Buddy. And that is the end of that. Space Case by Edward Marshall and pictures by James Marshall. You think they're related, boys and girls? Wow, I think they are. You can find more books written by these two authors and illustrators, especially by James Marshall, here in our collection. Check them out. Let's do some more wiggles.
I'm gonna pick up these scarves here. Is it colorful? Very colorful. Alright. Are we ready to do our little alphabet song? We'll just go ahead and fill some of these up again. Alright. Ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, U, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me? Another announcement here very quickly. We are participating in a program on the 29th of October, which is Thursday, through our um, library store time. <clears throat> it's a virtual reading of Evelyn Del Rey is Moving Away. And we will start that at 10 o'clock. It's a special event, and I hope that you will join us. It is a Think Together, Jumpstart, Read for the Record program and I hope that you will join us on the 29th of October which is a Thursday at 10 o'clock. Read for the record! Okay. Right. Now this next story that I have for you today is a book in Spanish and I'm going to read it completely in Spanish but you can go ahead and follow along and look at the pictures and you might actually be able to find out what on. Okay. Ahora voy a leer este cuento en, totalmente en español. Uh, los avisos que acaba de enseñar eran de, tenemos un programa que se llama Craft Along, donde es sobre manualidades. Cada mes tenemos una manualidad que pueden hacer. Um, eh, y este mes, el mes pasado fue en Maracas, este mes son estos <coughs> manualidades hechos de papel, de um, bolsas de papel. Okay, esta es la niña. Y el otro es eh, los pájaros hombre con un sombrero. Uh, todo lo que necesitas para hacer esta clase de manualidad está dentro de la bolsa. Nomás hay que venir a la biblioteca de Palm Springs y pedir tu manualidad de espantapájaros. Okay. No se olviden la ir a nuestra página web para mirar la programa cómo hacer esos pantapájaros por el mes de octubre es www.palmspringslibrary.org okay. y en el calendario de los eventos ahí están el 13 de octubre el video para mirar cómo hacer esos manuales raros que tenemos aquí los pantapájaros de bolsas de papel también quiero avisarles de que ya viene un programa el 29 de octubre, que es un jueves. Es, estamos con, uh, juntos con el programa Jumpstart. Um, lea por... Uh, es una programa de lectura. Y es... Eh, vamos a leer un cuento. Evelyn de Rey se muda. Y es eh, a las 10 de la mañana con nuestro horario de cuentos aquí en la biblioteca de Palm Springs. Ojalá puedan asistir por medio de uh, sus computadoras. Ok. Y tengo una tecolote que está ahí en el rinconcito. Necesito un nombre. Si pueden decirme qué nombre puedo poner de tecolote, entonces ahí está. Para recordarles que necesito todavía una. Muy bien. Ok, para empezar con nuestro libro. Cocodrilo va al dentista. Y este libro está escrito por Tarro Gomi. Y lo leemos con permisos de los especiales de la Gloria del Viento, Fondo de Cultura Económica de México. Okay. Cocodrilo va al dentista por Tarro Gomi. Ya ves que el cocodrilo ya le está duelando unas muelas y está en dolor. Ay, no quiero ir, no quiero ir. Pero debo hacerlo. Ay, 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 ay. Ya ves aquí, aquí hay una oficina y dice consultorio del 
visitar. Entonces, el cocodrilo va a ir a visitar a quién? ¿A quién va a visitar? Muy bien, sí, un dentista. Vamos a averiguar qué es lo que le dice el dentista, porque le está dando, doliendo una, una muela. Ay, no quiero ir, pero debo hacerlo. Aquí está el dentista, está trabajando un aparato que necesita. Y ya ves la sombra del cocodrilo, esperando entrar. Ay, oh, ah, oh. Los dos tienen miedo, ¿verdad? Ay, ay, ¿qué hago? ¿Qué hago? Está tratando de esconderse detrás de esta planta. Ay. Dice el dentista, ¿qué hago? ¡Ay, qué hago! ¡Un cocodrilo! ¡Ay! <risa> Los dos tratando de esconderse, pero todo bien se ve, ¿verdad? <risa> ¡Ay! ¡Me da miedo! ¡Ay! ¡Este me da miedo! Pero seré valiente. ¡Ah! Tiene la boca bien abierta. A ver, ¿dónde está la muela que le está molestando? ¿Lo puedes ver? Pero seré valiente, dice el dentista. ¿Ves la muela que tiene dolor? Muy bien, aquí está, ¿verdad? Pues está quebrado, ¿verdad? Está quebrado. A ver si la dentista le puede ayudar. Estoy listo para lo peor. Uy. Ay, estoy listo para el, lo peor. Lo encontré. A ver, ahí está. Mm, mm. Ay, me duele, me duele. Dice el cocodrilo. Oh no. Ay. Ay, me duele, me duele. Dice el dentista. Mira nomás, uno tiene el mano. Ay, pero está atrapado con tantitos dientes del cocodrilo. Ay, 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 ay. Es muy malo. Está llorando el cocodrilo. Ay, mi brazo es muy malo. Ay, 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 ay. El dentista llora también. Pero enojarse no sirve de nada. Ay, pero el enojarse no se sirve de nada. Y está poniendo algo ahí, llevando a, a, a la, la muela que está allí, curándolo, ¿verdad? Curándolo. Ya falta poco. Ya falta poco. Ya ves que la dentista está curando la muela, lo limpió primero y ahora le pone una, algo como una gomita para cubrirlo, para formarlo de nuevo. ¡Ay! ¡Por fin! Y todavía sigue llorando el cocodrilo. Ay, el dentista sudando, sudando, porque tiene que curar una muela quebrada de un cocodrilo. Ay, por fin. Ya ves, el muela del cocodrilo ya está reparado. Ya no está quebrado. Muchas gracias. Hasta la próxima. Sí, muchas gracias. Hasta la próxima, dice el dentista. Uh, la 
verdad no quisiera volver a verlo. ¡Ay! La verdad no quisiera volver a verlo, dice igualmente la dentista. Por eso debo lavarme los dientes, dice el cocodrilo. Y el dentista, el dentista dice, y por eso debes lavarte los dientes. ¿Es cierto eso, niños? Sí, ¿verdad? A lo mejor si no parabas de... de se pierden los dientes, se te caen los dientes, ¿verdad? Pues hay que, hay que limpiar los dientes, ¿verdad? Siempre, mañana, después del lunch y después en la cena. A limpiar esos dientes. Todas las muelas también. Y muy bien. Y eso es el fin de nuestro cuento. Cocodrilo va a la dentista por Taro Gomi. Y eso quiere decir, vamos a aplaudir, vamos a aplaudir. Eso quiere decir que también, no, no solamente Taro eh, tuvo este cuento en mente y lo escribió, pero también hizo trabajo de los dibujos. Muy bien, ¿verdad? Muy bien. Y este libro fue el que ganó un premio. Well, thank you so much for joining us today for our Read to Me story time. I hope to see you again next week. Don't forget to go to our website, www.palmspringslibrary.org, and check out our Craft Along program. And don't forget to join us for our Jumpstart program, which is on the 29th of October, as we read uh, a story with um, a story for you, a special story for you, and uh, also some Halloween stories as well. Okay? We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.